Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl officially Nyx and we are officially back with another drum roll Brrr, pa, 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 pa. Video! <laughs> All right, okay, let me go on down. Let me go on down. I'm a hairdresser, baby. I'm a hairdresser. Book me, but um, I'm just <laughs> I got like a lot of energy but at the same time I don't so I'm trying to get it together today's video I will be showing you guys how I did my fox locks I guess you could say butterfly locks fox locks um there's a couple different names for a bohemian lock. I don't know to be honest I really just think these are butter distress butterfly locks so yeah that's what I'm gonna say distress butterfly locks I'm gonna show you guys how I did them. This is my third time doing them. So, I mean, you know, I got a little bit of experience and I got to see what I was doing wrong the first time, the second time, and then the third time. So, like, I kind of just gathered a couple tips on how to do them. What was say? Yeah, they look so, like, I don't know. My head hurts. <laughs> my head hurts. But they look so, like, nice. If you're interested in learning how to achieve this look, Using my few little tips, stay tuned. Oh, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. You thought you were gonna get away that easily, okay? Well, hey there. Are you subscribed? Oh, I didn't see you there. Are you subscribed? Oh my gosh, I'm ugly for that. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Alrighty y'all, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some edge control. And this is for whenever you section out your hair and plait it for this hairstyle. Some um, Eco Styler Gel and also a pointy comb to help you part it. Next I have the Butterfly Locks and I think they are 24 inch. I probably just made that up. And also some Bohemian pre-stretched hair to wrap around um, the edge brush and some scissors and then next is the crochet needle okay so here is my hair sectioned off and in plaits um i tried to get them as even as possible but you know it just didn't work out in my favor also you can see they're not braided down all the way so i just finished some of them and if they weren't braided down i kind of just let it i let it go at the end also, you want to make sure your lock to braid ratio equals up. You do not want big old parts with a little lock. It's going to look crazy. Moving on to our next step, we're going to take the lock and just widen the top of it to make it easier for your braid to go through. And taking the, the crochet needle and putting the hair on the needle. And then um, closing the latch on the needle so that the hair won't come out whenever you're pulling it through your braid. Okay, hurry up, girl. Okay, now <laughs> we're going to push the, the needle through the root of the braid. And then whenever you're taking it off, whenever you're trying to get the hair off, pull it upwards to open the needle. Close that needle, y'all, whenever you're pulling it out. Okay, you see see how cl close it? Because if you don't, if you leave it open, it's going, mm, mm, you see that? Oh, yup, no, uh-uh, we don't want that. So we're going to just take, pull it out, and then close the needle. Smooth transition. Then pull the hair down, right? and open up, whatever, go to the opening and pull your braid through the part that you had made the opening wider. And then, you, look, hold on, watch this, watch this. Ah, don't that look like that hurt? But it don't, y'all. But just um, pull the hair together and make sure it's as flat as possible, okay? Next, I'm gonna take the pre-stretched hair and I'm gonna leave one end shorter and then the other end longer, but put that shorter end with the lock, your braid. And then you're going to take the longer end of the pre-stretched hair and start wrapping it around, right? And my head kind of went off camera. I, I thought I was recording that part. Obviously, obviously I wasn't, right? 
<laughs> huh. So now I got down to the bottom. Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to show y'all one more time how I did it because I just realized that. <sighs> I had one job. So now I'm going to take the, the, um, the lock again and put it through my braid. And now I'm pulling the hair up off the needle. Closing the needle. I told y'all, close that needle. Close it. There you go. All right, now I'm going to pull the lock down a little bit more to flatten it, open it, and then, come on, girl, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, now, okay, I, I, I didn't know I was doing it. Okay, there you go. Y'all know what, knew what, what was going on. Taking the pre-stretched hair, and then I'm going to have one piece shorter with the braid and the lock, and then I'm going to take the longer piece and wrap it around. So make sure you don't do it too tight because if you do it too tight, y'all, you're going to have your scalp in the braid and that hurts so much. I had a dent in my head. But um, so now when I get towards the end, right, I'm just still wrapping, but make sure you wrap, wrap it tight, but not too tight. I just said don't do it too tight, but whenever you get on the actual braid itself, do it tighter, okay? And you see I'm coming to the end, so I'm gonna cut the, uh, cut the pre-stretched hair and put it into two pieces. And I'm putting it into two pieces because this will just help it seal easier. Hold on, bless you, girl. I'm going to take that gorilla snot. I don't know. I thought that was cute, but that really wasn't cute. Huh? <laughs> I thought that was a cool idea. I'm taking a gorilla Scott snot and I'm taking it and putting it, putting it on one of the pieces and wrapping that down. And then <laughs> I'm still stuck on the gorilla snot thing. Like, I really thought that was cute. I'm going to take the second piece and then wrap it over the first piece. And that just kind of locks it in so that they won't come undone instead of having to use glue because I didn't have any. And there goes that final product, that finished look. Okay, let them know. Here is my attempt to loosen the locks. I thought blow drying it would loosen them. I don't know if it really worked, but I know putting my hair into two pigtails at night worked and they were flowing in the morning. So try that, y'all. Uh, 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 uh. Make sure you step right to my mm -hmm.